Hello everyone. How's everyone today? Welcome to the Dirt Road Farmer. Well, uh, <laughs> we've got most of our miscellaneous stuff done and now it's time to, to start harvesting. Uh, this is a canola field and it's not a large field. Uh, well, you could call it large, I guess. But we also have a smaller field uh, just south of this field that once we get this harvested, uh, we're going to connect those two fields and make this one a little bit bigger. But uh, anyway, you know, first things are first. We got to get this one harvested first. So uh, anyway, it looks like they're off to a good start. So we're going to jump down out of this guy and uh, go get in our grain cart and see about getting them emptied out. In the last video, uh, we got a large field planted, and uh, and I know, <laughs> I know we've got a couple of large, I mean, a couple of huge fields that's going to be coming due here real soon. Uh, one's a little over 600 acres, and the other's a little over 400 acres. So yes so these smaller fields we want to get them done and get them out of the way and make room for the, the larger ones so anyway uh, we'll get up here we're going to get this guy emptied out shouldn't have that much on but we'll get what he's got anyway and how's everybody doing today I hope everybody's doing great uh, we got one more day of the week to go and looks like we're coming up on a pretty nice weekend so yeah hopefully everybody has a great weekend All right, I think we've got that guy. Got, we've got what he's got anyway. Now I've got these guys set up. They're going to do one headland pass, and then they'll do their up and down rows. So. Everything should. <laughs> Everything should work out just fine. All right, it won't take long to get what he's got either. And like I said, it won't take long to get this field done because it's not that big. You take three harvesters running in this field, yeah. Won't take long at all. We've got what he's got. And we'll wait and we'll get number three after he makes the turn.
All right. Now we'll get him emptied out. Shouldn't take long. Just about to get everything that he's got. And I believe we do. All right. Well, we'll wait for him to get down to the other side of the field. We'll empty him out again. And uh, that way they'll be empty whenever they start their up and down rows. So I'll get back with you in a few minutes. All right. Well, I think we'll get him emptied out. Before he makes the turn down here. And I mean, it's uh, like I said, they're not they're not getting a lot of green on them. So what well, what we will have to do on <clears throat> this lead harvester is we'll have to uh, let whenever he starts his up and down rows, being I've got him skipping a row. Uh, his pipe will always be coming out into the crop, which means we can't get into the crop, uh, you know, without destroying some of our crop. So we'll have to wait for him to get loaded and uh, get over to the right side so that we can get him unloaded. So, uh, it works pretty good. Now, if you wanted, if you had your crop destruction turned off, then you could get him unloaded and you wouldn't be hurting the crop at all. You could just pull up beside him in the crop and, you know, you wouldn't be doing any damage at all. But if you want to keep it more realistic, uh, yes. You, you would be destroying the crop if you pulled up there beside him trying to unload him and you're running in the crop. So, yeah, you just want to kind of keep from doing that, you know. So, anyway, we're just about to get what this harvester's got. And we do. And like over at the other corner, we'll wait for harvester number three to make the turn and then we'll we'll get him emptied out now we want to watch and make sure where they start and how they start they're up and down rows we don't want no crashes <laughs> uh, yeah yeah it can happen but we'll watch them. All right. Harvester number three has made his turn. So we'll get him emptied out and we may just ride with him for a while. Harvester number three. Just to make sure everything goes <laughs> yeah, the way we want it to. Let's put it that way. All right. Now we're just about to get what he's got. I didn't bring a truck over here because 
obviously the yard is right there or silo is right there so yeah all right now i think we're going to ride with this guy and uh, let's just make sure they get off on the right track what I'm thinking is number one up there actually we can go up there and get in number one and it looks like he's getting started on the right track now as you can see the way it's looking right now he's going to be making a dry run and for those of you that have watched my videos before you're familiar with what I'm saying he's not harvesting anything but he's on track now let's jump down out of him and we'll go and get in harvester number two now it looks like harvester number two is going to be taking maybe a partial a very small very small partial bro now this is the way they compensate for the width of the field so this is exactly the way it's supposed to be going all right number three Number three will be taking a full swipe, a full row, once he figures out what he's doing. <laughs> uh, you gotta love it. All right. So, we're gonna ride with these guys for a while because they're not gonna get loaded. We're going to ride with these guys for a while and make sure they get turned correctly up here at the other end. So I'll get back with you when we're, we get up there a little farther. All right. Now's the moment of truth. Uh, we'll wait for the number one harvester, see what he's going to do. And it looks like he's going to do exactly what he's supposed to do, which is great. That first, first turnaround that they do is the one that's crucial. That's the one where you have to watch them. If there's going to be, <laughs> if there's going to be a crash, that's when it's going to be. So. All right, we've got everything that number three's got, and number one and number two, they don't have anything. So, yeah. So we're just gonna keep an eye on these guys. This is the field right here uh, that we're gonna connect to this, to the field that we're harvesting. We're gonna connect these two fields, plow them together, and plant them and it'll make it a little bit bigger so all right well we're just going to keep chasing these harvesters they're off to a great start looks like we're going to have a great great harvest so i'll get back with you in a little bit all right well do you see what's happening up here number one got loaded and that's what we were waiting on and got over so that he can put his pipe out and we can get in here and get him off loaded just like that now uh you know as soon as he gets unloaded you've got to back up and get out of his way because he will run right over the top of you <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, ask me how I know that. But the other harvesters are doing what they're supposed to be doing. So, yeah, everything is looking great. Yeah, this is not a time to be multitasking, I can tell you. He'll give you just a couple of seconds to get out of his way. <laughs> and then he's going to cut over in front of you. Yeah. You don't have much time to move. All right. Well, I'll get back with you when we get a little farther. All right. Well, we've made it over to the other side of the field. <clears throat> that wasn't bad. And now, from this point on, as they go back through and pick up all the rows that they skipped, uh, the number one harvester, his pipe will always open to the, to the outside now. So we won't have to wait for him to get loaded anymore. So it really works pretty good. Good. Well, we've got what he's got, so we'll go back and get number two. They shouldn't have very much because I just emptied them out. But we'll get what they got anyway. We don't want them to feel left out, you know. <laughs> yeah, we don't want them to feel like we forgot about them. All right, we've got what number two has got. And we'll go get number three. Now, on those larger fields that I talked about earlier, uh, we're going to be running five of these harvesters on that field. Now, five of them is a little harder to keep up with. You've got a lot more grain that you'll be going through. Uh, we're going to have a mother bin or a buffer cart, whichever you want to call it. I've heard it called both. Uh, we'll have a, have one of those set up. And uh, then we're going to have a truck that will be loading from the mother bin. And he'll be hauling back to our silo. So it's a, it's a pretty big deal. A lot of grain involved. But... Uh, yeah, I, uh, I can't wait to get started on it. It should be within the next day or two. Those crops should be coming due. Be ready to be harvested. So, we'll just have to sit and wait. Find out. Alright, well. All we're going to do is keep, keep these harvesters empty. And... We'll get back with you in just a little bit. All right, we're on our next to the last row. Everything has went perfect. 
That's what I call a successful harvest. <laughs> when you have no problems. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, that doesn't happen a whole lot. Uh, but it does help once you get a little experience and you kind of learn how to set these guys up. Uh, which part of the field to set them up in. Yeah, it reduces the chance of having problems, I can tell you that. But uh, today we've had a successful harvest. And I think uh, once we get this field done, we're going to look into uh, buying a couple of couple of more harvesters and we're going to get ready for the big harvest and uh, at the same time we're going to uh, plow these fields together and get them replanted so uh, the field that's south of us there that little field that I showed you that we're going to plow into this one uh, we've never planted anything in that field so, uh, it's going to be kind of interesting to see how much bigger it makes this field because I'm, I don't remember how big that field is. I'm, I'm sure it's not very big, but it will be a good addition to this field. So, anyway, we're going to get this third harvester emptied out and we'll be on our last row and yes we are going to have to clean the corners up so uh, you always have to do that and I say you have to uh, you don't have to you know I mean you don't have to do anything really I mean you can leave it like that and mulch it down uh, there's probably not enough grain left in them corners to amount to very much, but it's just one of them personal preference things. You know, it's just, if I'm going to harvest the field, I'm going to harvest the whole field. It's sort of like planting the field. If, I, if I'm going to plant the field, I want to plant the whole field. I don't want no holes in it, you know. So, anyway, that's just kind of the way I am. It's just a... Uh, one of my pet peeves, I guess, is leaving crop in the field. So, but anyway, looks like we're, looks like number one's already started on his last row. So we'll get up here and we'll get him emptied out. And uh, I guess we'll call this a video. Uh, if you've liked this commercial farming and you've enjoyed this content, please go down there and give me a like. I'd sure appreciate it. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, please do. That would be great. If you know someone that would enjoy seeing this content and you want to share it, please do. But, as for me, the dirt road farmer, I think we're going to call it a day. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>